This is the World Rugby Cup. Rugby World Cup Daily. This, this. is the Rugby World Cup Daily. This is Rugby World Cup Daily. I'm back at the Hoshinoya Tokyo and today I am making use of a transport service which harks back to a bygone era here in Japan. I think this is quite a stylish way of seeing downtown Tokyo. It's a different way of seeing the city because you're sitting a little higher. Speaking of different perspectives, Ireland might not have made it past a quarterfinal, but Brian O'Driscoll offered a really nice independent perspective on what to look forward to since we have a bronze final and a Rugby World Cup final in store this weekend. What has been your initial impression of Japan? What's the best thing you've seen so far? <laughs> the best thing I've seen? I got to go to the Pokemon Mega Store. <laughs> Wait, we need to get the buildings. There we go. But yeah, no, that's obviously not my highlight. I've been, <laughs> I've been to some temples and we sort of saw Mount Fuji sort of. on, a, on a boat. Eaten in some incredible restaurants. And um, we've been living off a solid staple of exceptional rice, great fish and plenty of rugby. England and South Africa in the final. But let's talk about that bronze playoff. As a captain, how do you motivate your team ahead of a match like that? That is tricky. That's yeah. where you would hope that World Rugby come in and give a nil all draw like they did <laughs> earlier on. <laughs> Two points each. Yeah, that is such a tough gig for, not just for a captain, you know, for individuals to, to get motivated. Have you noticed? Oh, those, I think those are persimmons. What do you call those? I've been seeing them everywhere. They're like loads of really big fruit. New Zealand, Wales though. I mean, after that incredibly torturous semi-final. I mean, yes, Wales yeah. must just be dreading the fact that they have to play another game. You, you would expect the peripheral players to get a yeah. chance to play. Uh, I would anticipate that Warren Gatton will, will definitely change some weary bodies. England, South Africa. The way England played against New Zealand, I'm pretty sure it would intimidate most teams. It was one of the most comprehensive performances I think I've ever seen. Yeah, I kind of feel like they could have beaten anyone on that night. No one, no one was going to live with them, but also, they had a game plan for New Zealand that they absolutely mastered, particularly defensively. They just scared New Zealand into doing things they didn't want to do. Mm. I just think it sowed that seed of doubt mm. that was constantly re reinforced by England. Based on what you saw from South Africa, I feel like you're backing England for this? Well, the thing is, I, I think England have the potential to get close to parity, at least in the pack, and give themselves a better platform to have a go at getting the edges against South Africa. So if England play 85% of the standard they did at the weekend, I think they'll be, they'll be champions. School predictions. I, I think the All Blacks is gonna be 20 point margin. point margin. Yeah, cool. South Africa and England in the final. I think I'm gonna go with England because they've shown the way of what they're capable of. So I'm gonna go with a 16, 16-9 victory for um, for England. All of you in Ireland, he called England. I'm just saying, he didn't back the other green team. It's good for world order. It's good for world order. Just <laughs> tell yourself that. <laughs> <laughs> Rahul Bose played rugby for India in their first international in 1998. Uh, he's a former scrum off and winger, but he these days is really famous for the fact that he's a Bollywood actor and director and philanthropist but deep down, first and foremost, rugby lover. And so he's in town, and I took some stats, Rugby World Cup until before the semi-finals, just note that, um, to, to just test him with, and see if you can do better than Raul. Raul Bose! <laughs> That's dreading this. Three players have scored five tries at this tournament. Pick the one who didn't. Josh Adams, Makazole Mapimpi, or Johnny May? Hmm, Johnny May. Well done. Ah. The top point scorer at the tournament so far. Oh my God. A, Owen Farrell, B, Yu Tamura, or C, Richie Mwanga? Richie. Incorrect. First is Yu Tamura. So we have these really strange sour sweets. Take your pick. I feel like a child. Oh. No. <laughs> Just remind me, why am I doing this again? <laughs> Which country has scored the highest number of points and tries?
tries? A, New Zealand, B, South Africa, or C, England? This is a trick question, obviously. No, I'm going to go with New Zealand. And you are almost right. <laughs> what is almost right out of three? It's like you're dead wrong. They were second. South Africa, though. Well, that's the worst of the lot. This tastes like um, very fine, old cured leather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I can't do this. Wow. Wow. Two teams have won the highest number of turnovers. Which one of the following three did not? A, South Africa, B, England, C, Uruguay. They're a very tricky person. Uruguay. Obviously, they're one of the two. I mean, that's why you have them there. So then, I would say England is not. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I, th that, that, that was not looking good. It's raining men. It's time of food. It's raining men. Hey, Ben. I've got the app open. It says the way of the sea. I have goosebumps. It does feel like I'm in the imagination of an artist. It's like art, but fully immersive. Oh, look, it's like a leopard. This is pretty much Instagram gold. And this room is the forest of lamps. And if you touch the lamps, they change color. See now I've knocked this one and suddenly we're going into pink. So it just spreads throughout the room. Beautiful that is with the sunflowers. And the waterfall. So when you stand here, apparently the flowers grow from you. It's a bit like a spa. Only no one is actually touching me. can describe this to you and I don't think a camera can really capture it. It's the modern Tokyo you think you're going to see when you come here. England need to do what they've been doing all the way through the World Cup, which is to, you know, go out there with their game plan and implement it. South Africa will need to score a few tries to beat this England team because they're capable of keeping that scoreboard ticking over. South Africa definitely need to improve on their accuracy in execution. We've seen some big physical forward battles and we've seen Henry Pollard be extremely accurate off the tee. They're going to need to use each and every opportunity that comes their way. I think the key players for South Africa are Pollard, uh, the fly half, I think Faf de Klerk, the scrum half, and probably uh, Estebeth, the second row. For me, the key players in this England side, Owen Farrell, the way he leads the side is, is incredible. And the loose forward trio of you know, Underhill, Curry and Vinopola have just been absolutely incredible. I think England will win the Rugby World Cup 2019 final. My heart will definitely be saying South Africa with a little bit of nerves given how commanding England's performance was against New Zealand in the semi final. That right there is the Imperial Palace, and this is the road the Emperor takes to get to Tokyo Station, that beautiful building up ahead. I'm going to keep on finding cool Tokyo things to do as our days here are swiftly running out. Make sure you check back for more of that and us getting you hyped for the final tomorrow on Rugby World Cup Daily. Bye, Kay. Bye. 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 See you in Tokyo.